In this section, we will be discussing the surgical techniques in removing mammary tumours. These are the steps in the procedure, which will be explained in the following illustrations and pictures. Step 1 is to perform the incision of the skin and subcutaneous tissue. The incision should be a minimum of 1 cm away from the tumour to prevent recurrence of the tumour. Step 2 is to lift the cranial edge of the skin flap while separating the subcutaneous tissue from the abdominal fascia. Step 3 is to identify and ligate the major blood vessels supplying the mammary glands. In this case, they are the caudal superficial epigastric blood vessels between mammary glands 4 and 5. Step 4. Stitch the skin edges together with oppositional sutures. After stitching up the incision, place bandages to compress and support the wound. These are videos showing the procedures undertaken in the operation. The vet has incised the skin using electroincision and is now separating the subcutaneous tissue from the abdominal fascia. Then the vet lifts the cranial edge of memory gland 4 on the right. After identifying and isolating the caudal superficial epigastric vessels, the vet ligates the vessels to prevent the dog from bleeding out. The vet separates some skin from the abdominal fascia to allow the skin to stretch over the wound. The vet uses 3-0 absorbable monosyn sutures to stitch up the wound. Here he is finishing the stitching of the wound. Yeah, what happened? They Tips and advices Controlling the bleeding is important during surgery, especially in large breeds. The major blood vessel in this case was the caudal superficial epigastric vessel. This must be identified and ligated to prevent the dog from bleeding out. This table shows the major blood vessels supplying the mammary glands of dogs and cats. Between mammary glands 1 and 2 are the ventral and lateral branches of the intercostal, internal thoracic and lateral thoracic vessels. Between mammary glands 2 and 3 are the cranial superficial epigastric vessels. Between mammary glands 4 and 5 are the caudal superficial epigastric vessels. To isolate the major blood vessels, perform gliding scissor dissection until the major vessels are encountered.